when Panda first came into the house. Sesame's facial expression is like, what the actual bringing in my house? The gesture and her face says, I'm the boss here, your little puppy dog. Because she is Sesame the queen. Panda was trying to get her attention. But it was tough. We struggle with their bonding. Because Sesame is super territorial bunny and a little bit cheeky. We have a joke about Sesame. Like, why I'm so chunky is because I have so much personality. She's like the one with the cute and very innocent face. But she rules the house. And she's the one to give everyone permission to do things. Oh my god, why did you do that? And Panda is very obedient and a little bit shy. That's why when Panda is similar size with her, she will bully her. Whenever Panda come close to her, she'd eat her. That's a classic moment. When Panda was sleeping on Sesame's cushion and then Sesame was on the sofa, she saw that, it got very angry, put her paws on Panda and just pushed her away. But as Panda is getting older, they enjoy the company of each other more. I always feel like when Sesame do some mischievous things, at the first Panda is trying to say, Oh, look what Sesame has done! But she have like a negotiation with Sesame. That time, Sesame changed her attitude. And now she actually the best buddies with Panda. In the morning, when everyone is wake up, Sesame actually will wait Panda to come upstairs and check up on her. And sometimes they watch TV. So it's just two of her babies watching cooking show together and binging on it. That kind of cute. The most thing they like to do is napping next to each other. They will just sleep together and groom each other all the time. Sesame is also very caring about Panda. Sometimes in a very indirect way. It's more like we need to translate from bunny behavior. It took about six months for them to get along with each other. Sesame changed a lot. I never thought of caring. She can And the bonding between her and Panda makes my life more happy and fulfilling.